<laughs> oh man, let's go. 2018 is about to be a crazy year for more reasons than one. We're on we were on a dark topic with that whole swatting thing. I apologize if I made the mood a little more heavy than it should have gotten. I get a little passionate about that stuff because it obviously involves me, my income, my livelihood and all that. And let me just say Thank you for not being fucking idiots and risking my death for the sake of a laugh. Thank you for valuing me as a human being and deciding, you know what? Let's just enjoy him for what he is, an entertainer, rather than let's see this nigga fucking die. I appreciate that shit. You have to be thankful for that now. Because with how savage the internet can be, I know damn well some of you guys probably would have done that shit. As a matter of fact, who knows? I probably probably got swatted. But like I said, police don't give a fuck over here. So you know what? Thank you, NYPD, for not giving a fuck about false calls and being so late in how you take action. You avoided me getting killed probably multiple times. And you know, times. giving him props for all the years of but entertaining hey, content for... We're gonna continue. Watch the drama. There's a drama alert interview? What? Really? An interview with who? <laughs> that thumbnail. <laughs> that interview, that thumbnail is fucking ridiculous. Hold on a second. Drama alerts. Who the fuck did Keemstar interview? Six hours ago, he posted a video. What the fuck? What is up, Drum Alert Nation? I'm your host, Keller Keemstar. Let's, Let's get <laughs> right into the news. Now, guys, normally we uh, come go to the address of their enemy. One of the teams dared the other team to go ahead and swat him. He said, please try some shit. I'll be waiting, posting this. Wow. Address. I'll have you in prison for five years, buddy. Casey already gave me all the proof I need. So once the other team got that address, they didn't do the swatting themselves, but they sent it to a known swatter, a hacker who's been swatting Call of Duty pros and who has been putting in bomb threats to the what? last MLG event earlier this month. This dude is a, he's a beast. He's been doing this shit for fucking how long now? Someone who's just a repeating swatter, a habitual swatter. Bomb threats? SWAT calls on people's cribs? Streamers? Call of Duty profilers? What the fuck? I sent it to a swatter known as SWATast. And once SWATastic got this address, he called in a fake hostage situation to that address with the police. And when the police showed up, they shot and killed a 28-year-old father who had- A father?! Nothing to do at- all with this situation it happened in wichita kansas man dies after being shot by a wichita officer investigating a possible homicide the local news known as the wichita eagle interviewed the family to find out exactly what took place here is that interview roll it i know i had seen the red and blue lights flashing in my window i heard my son scream i got up and then I heard a shot. And as I was walking by, this door was open. The police said, come out with your hands up. They took me, my roommate, and my granddaughter who witnessed the shooting and had to step over her dying uncle's body to come. They took us outside with no shoes on. They handcuffed us, you know, why couldn't they yeah they didn't call the ambulance until after he was dead and what gives the cops the right to open fire why didn't they give him the same warning they gave us i mean that cop murdered my son over a false report in the first place yeah andy my son was not a gamer he was not a gamer 
No. So they so they just knocked on the door and it was They that didn't quick. knock on the door. My son opened it because he heard something. He screamed and then they shot him. This is so incredibly sad and unbelievable that this even happened. UMG, the website where the Call of Duty competitive match took place, put out this statement. We woke up this morning to the horrible news about an incident with a man losing his life. Our hearts go out to his loved ones. We will do everything we can to assist authorities in this matter. And get this, the swatter, the person that made the fake police call, he said this on Twitter. I didn't get anyone killed because I didn't discharge a weapon. And being a SWAT member isn't my profession. Unfucking believable Now, I could not believe that this hacker, swatter, or whatever wasn't taking any responsibility whatsoever. So we reached out to him, and we asked him if we could get an interview with him, and we did. And this is what the person that Dude, told the you police killed that nigga, Keemstar. said. Roll it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the alleged swatter on here. Uh, SWAT. Artistic. Um, so you were involved in this swatting where the 28 year old man was shot and killed, correct? Um, allegedly, I was involved. Allegedly, uh, well, you took responsibility on Twitter, and then your Twitter got suspended, right? Um, I changed my username. Someone took the username, and that username got suspended. My account never got suspended. Okay, so. What happened in this situation? You were playing a uh, competitive match. I was, minding, I was minding my own business at the library. Someone contacted me and said, hey, dude, this fucking retard just gave me his address and he thinks nothing's going to happen. Uh, you want to, you know, prove him wrong? And I said, sure, I love swatting kids who think that nothing's going to happen. And then uh, I followed the kid that he wanted me to swat. And the kid that he wanted me to swat sent me a DM saying um he basically messaged me with an address saying uh well i'm waiting for you to do something pussy this and that and then um you know uh an attempt was made to swat that address so you you swatted that address correct sure okay right. so you swatted the address you put in the the fake hostage situation correct yep and then this guy gets killed that's what happened, I guess. And you said you you said this on Twitter. You said I didn't get anyone killed because I didn't discharge a weapon, and being on a SWAT uh, a SWAT member isn't my profession. So do you, do you I take agree that. right? Do you take any responsibility for what happened? Um, the argument can be made that the police would have never showed up if I didn't make the call. However, um, I don't believe that I'm the only guilty party involved in this whole. Did I just hear that shit correctly? Did he really just say he's not the only guilty party? Did I really just hear that shit correctly? Considering I was contacted and, um, you know, it almost instructed to swat and taunted to swat an address. I mean, of course, if that doesn't mean you have to do it. You want to, I mean, you could say that, of course, I was involved. However, I mean, other people were involved. You killed him. Well, I mean, yeah, the call was made by me, but um, as far as the whole incident, uh, I can't. Finger at I am going to fucking something if I hear any more of this fucking trash talking about this I'm fucking done